Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So I got a real bad cold, so uh, my throat's kind of screwed up right now or whatever, but so I'll sound kind of funny. Um, my motor mounts, I built these uh, like last year, I guess it was. And obviously the motor's sitting up on a block right now. This is just a mock-up motor because I've had people bitch about, you know, oh, you're not gonna be able to run that with rust in it and whatever. No, duh. This is just a mock-up motor, so don't freak out. But anyways, uh, these motor mounts will drop down, a bolt drops through here or pushes through here and you got, you know, washers on both sides and whatever. But this is a like quarter, no, this is eighth inch plate steel right here. And then a, a round uh, spacer that I built out of a piece of chromoly pipe. And then uh, what I want to do is run some, some, uh, not sheet metal, some uh, flat stock back to here. And then, you know, run some flat stock cut like in triangles for gussets right here so that this looks nice and clean so when this frame's all painted and you see the engine compartment this looks really nice so that's what i'm working on today half two and a quarter they're supposed to, supposed to be uh both of them are supposed to be two and a half why'd you guys let me mess up like that you should have said something <laughs> oh well i'll cut another one all right well it wasn't a total loss because these two pieces uh i got cut now and i was looking at the scrap the one that i messed up on and uh that'll be good for the side pieces to go from here down to nothing so you know i'm not gonna waste that piece of metal so that worked out good. I'll get these cleaned up now. Oh, I hate leaky air hoses. <clears throat> My glass is on. Smash this damn phone in about two seconds. <clears throat>
so I'm using my welder with the with the trigger right now just to make it easier when I'm doing this. That way I don't have to chase the foot pedal all over the floor. And uh, you know, just with the TIG welder. And then uh, <clears throat> I just want to get some spot welds on here. I'm not sure I'm going to like this setup that's on here right now. Uh, I put the piece of metal on the side. I know you guys can't see, but I'll show you in a minute. But I put the pieces of metal on the side and ran it down, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. So I'm going to get this stuff spot welded on there, and, and uh, that way if I need to cut it off and regrind it, whatever, that's fine. But in the meantime, at least it'll be on there t so I can put some pieces of metal on there and see if I like it or not. So we'll see what happens. Bitch. Just caught my tungsten and burned it off. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get that sharpened up real quick. <clears throat> to cut my filler rod off there too <laughs> so this piece here I got it all trimmed out <clears throat> and that's uh, gonna slide underneath the motor mount and I'll weld all the way around this but I just took a piece of uh, filler rod for the, from the TIG welder and spot welded it to this that way I can hold it stick it in there and spot weld it and not burn my hands if I want to do it without gloves because a lot of times I'll just use one glove on one hand and not the other you know, the one that I'm using the stinger with, I'm, I'm not putting a glove on, but <clears throat> right now it's uh, fitting a little tight right here, so I'm gonna grind a little bit down. So you can see it's it's fitting pretty nice. But right here, I need to trim a little bit more. Oh, it actually went in there, so. Did it? Yeah, well, I guess it is okay. All right, well, I guess we'll get ready to weld it in then. I got this little, this gap here a little bit, but it'll be all right. Um, it's getting welded solid all the way around, so it's not a big deal. So I'm using the trigger right now. That's what I've been using, but it's, uh, you can't really control the heat with this. So now I need to weld solid that piece and then, you know, all the back of the plates here. So I'll go ahead and get my pedal set up. And it's pretty easy. Uh, this is the TIG 200 Eastwood. It's pretty simple. Unscrew this here. Pull this out. And that is for your trigger. And the reason you can tell it's for the trigger is this is the one that runs uh, down your hose. And you got this one here for your pedal. And they only go in one way. There's a little tit right there, if you can see that. You gotta kind of find out where that's at. Oops, sorry about the crappy camera work. I'm trying to do, <laughs> do this with one arm. <clears throat> and then when you get this tight, that pedal's ready to go. And then you want to go ahead and go from panel control to foot pedal. 
ready to go. Trying to get everything set up here. Now the reason that I went on the inside, if you guys can see that, on the inside of this here is I didn't want anything else to be wider than the motor mount because the motor mount wouldn't go down over the top of this. And the other reason I'm doing this is so that the motor mount is uh, stronger because I was afraid there'd be a chance that this could crack or break off. And now that this has, you know, something on the top, on the sides, on the bottom, everything, I know it won't break off even after it's welded and ground down, you know? So it should work pretty good. Um, this helped though when I was putting this on here, when I welded that, that filler wire to this, it helped to uh, hold it up there. <clears throat> now I can just take the magnet off and uh, I was going to push it from the inside but it's already lined up so that worked out good so I'll go ahead and put a spot weld back here <clears throat> So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll get the rest of this stuff welded up. And then uh, when I get the motor pulled out of here and out of my way, I'll weld all this right here because it's gonna be hard to do right now. But it'll have a kind of a cool looking spot right here where the motor mount is. And uh, you know, obviously the motor sits over like this and then you got your headers that come down. And then when we uh, paint the frame, I'll mold all this in and make it look real nice. You know, grind, grind down the welds and just smooth everything out. But I uh, hope you guys like the uh, the way it turned out or whatever uh leave some comments down below in the you know leave some comments if you have any uh because this could be changed so i mean you guys give me good ideas or whatever and maybe we'll change it around if, if it's something that you guys come up with but uh appreciate you watching the video all right guys i'm gonna get out of here i appreciate you guys watching thanks for all the support we're almost up to forty thousand subscribers which means a lot uh you know i couldn't do it without you guys you know and i really appreciate it um there's some other channels that i'm gonna put a link down below uh, if I can and uh, I'd like you guys to go to these channels. There's three of them go to those channels and tell them Arco sent you over there and Sub their channel and support them because they do some badass fabrication and, and uh, they got some really cool Really cool stuff on their channels. I think you guys will like uh, the one of them the the last channel that I'm gonna mention is in Russia and Really good. I would say friend because we're always back and forth kind of talking but you know, the communication isn't there because I have to wait for him to understand what I'm saying with the translator. And then same thing when he gets a message back to me, he always leaves really nice messages and stuff. We've been talking for like three or four years. Super cool guy. And uh, his his channel is uh, right here in, in Russian, whatever that means, you know. And I'm sorry I don't speak Russian, but uh, I will put the link down below. And really cool guy. Like I said, he's awesome. Uh, the other channel that I want to do a shout out to is Treetop Garage. And Ken, uh, sorry, and Ken's Can Cave, and I'll put those down below. These are both really good channels. Ken's Can Cave, he does all kinds of uh, tool reviews, and uh, he's got an old Indian motorcycle that he restored that is absolutely just totally badass. Go check his channel out. Super sweet guy. Love the dude to death. Um, he's always doing some really good stuff, and we talk back and forth, always communicating, and, and you know, on each other's channel, the same thing. 
and uh, he's supported me for a long time. And uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Ken. And uh, Treetop Garage, just met this guy a while back. This is actually uh, Mill Creek Fab Shop's neighbor, uh, Joey's neighbor. But uh, got to kind of start talking to Treetop Garage a little bit. And he's building a wicked Studebaker gasser. And he's got another, uh, uh, it's like a 51 Pontiac or something like that. And uh, has some really cool cars, does some nice stuff and uh, fabrication or whatever in his shop. And I think you guys will like his channel. But go to these guys' channels. I'll put the link down below. Tell them Arco sent you over there. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.